Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to be making our way to the Forge of the Giants. But before we do, like always, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And really, I didn't do anything besides farm up the unaltered chess piece to the Banished Knight set. And where I went to go do that is I went over to Castle Soul and I went to the Castle Soul rooftops where the elevator is over here. There's a Banished Knight with a halberd and two wolves over there. I just lured the banished knight and kept killing him until I got this chess piece. And that's all I did. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna use a stone sword key to open up this fog wall. We're gonna get the spell flame protect me. That will just boost your resistance to fire. It can be very handy in the fire giant boss fight. Come over here, roll into this wall. I'm gonna jump up here. Grab a Golden Rune 11, hop down, kill these imps, and then run straight through this cat. Don't worry about those steps, that will just lead us back up to the grace. I'm gonna run down these steps though. Try not to get hit by the cat like me. Grab this. Be careful for the two imps that are gonna drop down. They're gonna chase me up here. Yeah, it looks like. At least one of them is. I went ahead and I switched over to my longbow for this episode. Just because it makes things easier. Be careful, there is a fire monk right here. Oh man, what a sweet drop. Pull our bow out again and then we're going to shoot the pillar. That's going to raise up the light. We're going to have a couple more imps to fight. But we're, what we're going to do is we're going to run across here first. Grab these items and then run back over to the light. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. That was terrifying. Well, that's okay. I don't think it'll chase us. We're going to go down this elevator. Then 
we're going to send it back up. We're going to pull this lever right here. That will open up that door. We can see a shadow giant over there. Or, well, shadow troll, not giant. We're not going to worry about him right now. We're going to pull this lever just over here. Hop in this alcove. It's going to bring us even further down. I'm going to see one of those cats. Those very annoying cats. Let's wait for him to come over here. Take him out. Come behind the elevator and grab ourselves a Grave Glove Wart 9. And then we're going to veer off to the left. Go ahead and drink ourselves a Cerulean Flask. And then we're going to crouch. And we have one of those big old prelates. This one is pretty beefy, so be careful. Go ahead and grab ourselves a great glove wart. Grab a giant seal. And then we're going to hop down right over here. It's going to send us back over to where the elevator is that we took down here. Just right here. We're going to grab this cat's attention. Get it to come towards us. We're not going to kill this one. We're going to run by it. But we want to get it far enough away from the ladder that we can grab the Grave Glove Wart and climb up the ladder at the same time. It run right past him. And then climb up the ladder. over here to grab some more grave glove wart hop down over here and then off to the left we want to bring this elevator back up because it's going to put the light over here in this circle and then we're going to run over here to the troll We want him to chase us. Two heavy attacks. Should drop him. Now that we killed him, the boss door will open up for us. Be sure to come over here for some Ghost Glove Wart 9. Don't want to miss that. That stuff is pretty rare.
And then right here, let's go ahead and buff ourselves. Put our shield back on. Drink our flask. And then go into the boss room. So if we're killing the ancient hero of Zamor, we get the Zamor Curved Sword and the Zamor Armor Set. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fast travel out of the hero's grave and over to the giant's grave post. We're going to put a couple of markers down. Our first marker is going to be about right over here. Our second marker is going to be over here. Third marker is going to be over here. Our fourth marker is going to be right over here. And then lastly, our fifth marker will be right about here. Go ahead and hop on Torrent, and then be very careful. Like I said in the last video, there is a lot of dangerous stuff here. Hands, trolls, dogs, big old birds. Gets pretty crazy over here. So our first piece of loot is right here next to this big bird. want to outrun it. About to get invaded. So be ready for that. Try not to let him get blood loss build up on you. So for killing Okina, we get Rivers of Blood. This is probably one of everybody's most favorite sword to use in the game. We also get Okina's Mask. Go ahead and light the grace. Grab our last sacred tier. Now we're going to upgrade our flask for the last time. We're going to hop on Torrent. We're going to come up to this skull. We're going to hop in the mouth of this skull. Get ourselves an ancient dragon smithing stone. That'll be our third one now. Then we're going to come behind the skull. Careful for the little hands that are over here. We're going to face northeast and jump on top of the skull. Get ourselves the Ash of War Trolls Roar. And then we want to face southwest and jump down right here on that spirit spring. We're going to come over here. Be 
very careful not to aggro any of the enemies. And then right here, we're going to hop off Torrent. And we're going to put on our Great Bow. And then we don't want to get too close because this Scarab will disappear if we get too close. We're going to shoot it with our Great Bow. Knock it off. And we'll get ourselves a somber smithing stone egg. We're going to hop back on Torrent. We're going to come over by this grace. Activate this summoning pool. And then light the grace. Now we're going to put a couple more markers down. Our first marker is going to be right here. We're going to get another golden seed. We don't really need it at this point because we have max flasks. Over here we're going to put a marker. And then over here. And then over here. And then lastly, right over here. Real fast, just to the north here, we have an item. We're gonna grab that, and then we're gonna head to the northeast for the golden seed. If you're having a lot of trouble getting through here, you can always summon in, summon in your Spirit Ash. Come over here for a Starlight Shard. Try not to get hit by that hand like me. You want to get behind this troll. And then come over to the west and hug the cliff side. Got one more item just here. Hop down right here. Grab a grace mimic. And then be very careful. We're going to have a super massive hand. Don't even mess with that thing. Just head east. And then north, down this slope. We're going to have a bunch of little hands over here. I wouldn't worry too much about them. They're not too much of a threat. Just be careful when you come over here. They're kind of blocking the path. What I like to do is just hop up on the side. And go right by them like to hop off Torrent here, take out the two hands, grab ourselves the Crimson Whirl Bubble Tear, and then right over here, pop down on this Gravestone, and then this one, and then this one, and then lastly roll, oh, that was almost bad, roll over to this one, and then you can hop down safely. And this will bring us to the first grace we lit over here so what we're gonna do is we are going to fast travel back over to the foot of the forge let's go ahead and hop on torrent and then we're gonna head northeast Follow the cliff's edge here. And then we're going to veer off and go across this chain. If you want to summon in Alexander, you can. He can help, but he's also going to make the boss a little more beefier. So he's going to hit harder and have a ton more health. And he's already got a but low to health, so totally up to you. What I'm going to do is drink a 
Wonders Flask of Physic. Buff my weapon. Put my shield back on. Hop on Torrent. Torrent is going to be a big help in this boss fight. We're going to summon in our Mimic tier. Heal ourselves. And be very careful. The boss is going to sling. Say be careful and then he completely messes me up. But he's going to sling some snow at you. So just be prepared for that. We want to hit his foot that doesn't have the bracelet on it. Or the anklet on it. Because it's not really a bracelet that goes on your wrist. Be really careful if he hits the ground with that. A bunch of fire is going to come out of the ground. Ah, he killed Torrent. Cool, man. So when he does that, get out of the way. run back over here try this again And that's how it should be done. Do not die to a bunch of nonsense. In the second phase, his arms are his weak spot so keep that in mind so for killing him we get the remembrance of the fire giant Come over here, we're gonna light this grace. And then we're gonna go up to the Forge of the Giants.
I'd be really careful coming up here. I'm being brave with taking Torrent up here. Normally I run up here, but because of that death, I want to speed things up just a little bit. Can't believe I died to that boss. All that practice and I still died. He is a hard boss. It is not really that easy just because of the massive health pool and the amount of damage he does just on his hits. So, and he rolls around a lot. It's pretty nuts. Let's go ahead and light this grace. We're going to sit at it. But whatever you do, do not talk to Melina. If you talk to Melina, she's going to bring you over to the last area of the game for Room Azula. And we don't want to go over there just yet. For now, we're going to go to our map and we're going to go over to this round table hold. So for the Remembrance of the Fire Giant, we can get the Giant's Red Braid or Burn O Flame. Now the Burn O Flame is where he was like putting his hand on the ground, a bunch of flame was coming out of the ground. That's what that is. Pretty cool. And the Giant's Red Braid is a whip. It, it is what it looks like. So if you want to try any of those out, feel free. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come all the way up here to the Grand Lift of Rolled. We're going to come up here. And then what we want to do is we want to press left or right on the D-pad so we can hoist the secret medallion. You want to make sure that it's the secret medallion and not just the regular medallion. Okay, let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and put our regular bow back on. Oh, and one more thing. We are going to need some rainbow stones. Gonna activate this summoning pool. Open up the double doors. And then over here to the left, there are some vulgar militiamen. So be very careful. Take those two guys out. And then we're gonna backtrack right over here pull our bow out 
And then up top, we have a land octopus. Grab ourselves a warming stone. And then we're going to come up to the top here. And then instead of going up the stairs, we're going to come down here and drop off. Really careful not to fall all the way down. going to roll into this illusory wall and get ourselves an amazing talisman. This is the silver scarab. This will boost your or no, your item discovery. I apologize. Words are just not my friend today. Now we're going to run straight across. Be really careful. We have three vulgar militiamen over here and they are no joke. They can easily kill you, so just be very careful. Get a sacramental bud. And then right out here, this is where we're going to need our rainbow stones. But before we get those, we want to get the attention of that guy. Have him come up here. Right over here, we want to line ourselves up, take our rainbow stones out, I think we need to go over just a little bit, and then we want to make sure that we're lined up with the doorway. If you veer off, you're going to fall down to your death. Careful of the vulgar militia man right there. Right over here, we can roll off. Get ourselves a hero rune. And then we can see a big old land octopus. It's going to fall down, but first what we want to do is we want to kill the vulgar militiamen that are over here. And that is the easiest way to take care of that land octopus. I'm gonna pull the lever, open up a door. We'll be going into a boss fight here in just a moment. Go ahead and pull your bow out. We're going to kill these guys one at a time. Just makes things a whole lot easier. What I like to do is hit one right over there. Sometimes you can get them to walk over there. It's all right. There's only two left. You should be okay to get them. Grab some root resin. If you don't care about the root resin, don't bother with fighting uh, the militiamen over there.
So we're going to be fighting another Mimic tier. Like we did when we were in Nokron. So if you want, you can take off all your gear and then let it summon in for an easy fight. I'm not going to do that. me up <laughs> so for killing the mimic tier we get the black flame monk Amon and then more importantly we get ourselves a death root gonna heal ourselves one more time and then we're gonna come through this double door don't go straight take a left and then we're going to come up this elevator Get ourselves the Spell Drake Talisman plus two. And then right up these stairs is a grace. We're going to light it. Then come back down over here. We're going to crouch. Grab this item and then backtrack. Just want to grab the freezing grease and then we can come up top here. Alrighty, and this is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.